The Brian Flores era ended with a worrisome thud, as the Miami Dolphins were abruptly thrown for a loop following the former head coach's lawsuit against the team and league. But the franchise made swift decisions, and there was quickly a new regime in place that has the team headed in a different and promising direction, things weren't all bad in 2021. After one of the most disappointing stretches in recent memory that saw the team get off to a 1-7 start, they became the first franchise in NFL history to have both a seven-game losing streak and seven-game winning streaks in the same season. The Dolphins went from vying for the number one overall pick to controlling their own postseason destiny going into Week 17, but the season ultimately ended in disappointment, and the team missed the playoffs in each of Flores' three seasons at the helm, and he was fired while the front office did an immaculate job in bringing back essentially every defensive starter from 2021, as well as add some premier players to the offensive side of the ball, there were a few notable departures. There was a revolving door at multiple offensive positions last year, and there were a lot of contributors to what was an ultimately anemic offense, many of those guys have found new homes for the 2022 season and beyond, and the Dolphins will even play against some of them this coming year. Which of those players found themselves in good situations where they can potentially benefit from a change of scenery, here are the three former Miami Dolphins players who could thrive on new teams. Former Miami Dolphins player, Mac Hollins, he is currently the fourth or fifth wide receiver on the Raiders' depth chart, but Mac Hollins could be a difference maker for Las Vegas this coming season, a guy who became a fan favorite in Miami due to his social media presence and bubbly on-field attitude, Hollins spent the last two-plus seasons in South Florida. While he never became a premier pass catcher for the Dolphins, he had some of the biggest highlight reel plays for the team. He only had 14 catches in 2022. But four of them went for touchdowns, doubling his previous career high, Hollins is a special team standout as well, and it is where he made his biggest impact with the Miami, by being a gunner on the punt team and making field position plays. But there were times when he was thrust into the starting lineup due to injuries, and he always seemed to make the most out of his opportunity, he'll join a crowded wide receiver room with the Raiders in 2022, and figures to be the fourth or fifth guy in rotation again. But the now fifth-year pass catcher will be on the best offense that he has been a part of so far in his career, and he may end up putting up respectable numbers, especially if someone higher on the depth chart sustains an injury, Hollins will surely be used as a special teams weapon as well, a place where he may be able to make an even bigger impact. Former Miami Dolphins player, Duke Johnson, the rushing attack for the Miami Dolphins in 2021 was pathetic, at least for the first three quarters of the season. It wasn't until the team brought on a couple of new faces later in the year that the unit stepped their game up. Along with Philip Lindsay, the other running back that was brought on was Duke Johnson, who ended up having two of the best days of any Dolphins running back all season, Johnson made his Dolphins debut in Week 11. But he only received four touches. But in a Week 15 game against the New York Jets, Johnson rushed for 107 yards and two touchdowns, the first time a Miami running back had eclipsed 100 yards all season. Three weeks later in the season finale, he put up 117 yards and another score, unfortunately for Dolphins fans, the hometown hero's time in Miami was short, and he'll move on to play for the Buffalo Bills in 2022, Johnson may have some trouble getting any legitimate amount of touches however given his position on the depth chart. The Bills currently have six running backs on their roster, a number which will certainly be trimmed down by the end of training camp. Johnson should survive final cuts and make the active roster, but he might be the third or fourth back listed. And unless there is an injury to Devin Singletary or James Cook, his opportunities could be limited, but Johnson proved last season that there is still some juice in the tank, and he parlayed that into securing a contract in Buffalo. The Bills must still think he is capable of being a big-time back, and it wouldn't surprise many people in Miami to see him put up big numbers like he did at the end of 2021. Former Miami Dolphins player, Jacoby Brissett, he didn't do a whole lot for the Dolphins, and it would probably be beneficial to both parties if we just pretend the union never happened. Jacoby Brissett was signed during the 2021 offseason with the specific designation of being the backup to Tua Tagovailoa but he was thrust into the starting lineup in just the second game of the season following an injury to the starter. His performance was below average, at very best, while his five-game numbers are respectable, 1. 100 yards, 5 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, 2-3 record, but Brissett completely failed the eye test. 
His motions were best described as lumbering, and the offense seemed to be at its most stagnant when he was the signal caller. He only lasted one season in Miami and has now moved on to the green earth pastures. Brissett will once again be listed as the number two quarterback on the depth chart, but this time it will be behind Deshaun Watson for the Cleveland Browns. But depending on Watson's legal proceedings and the possibility that he faces a suspension, Brissett could end up starting nearly half of Cleveland's games in 2021. The Dolphins will play against the Browns in Miami on November 13th.